Hi there! In this video, we'll start with a demo to set up a Matter device from iPhone. And then we'll explain how commissioning a Matter device works. We'll dive deep into Matter's specification. Let's get started. So here is the setup. I have a Matter device that I already set up. This is the ESP32 dev kit with a screen, where I install the Matter example lighting app. You can think of it as a light bulb with Matter protocol supported. I also have an app called iMatter installed on my iPhone. I'll use this app to set up the Matter device. Eventually, we want to see the Matter device is successfully set up and we will be able to control the Matter device from our phone. Let's get started. First, we need to put our device in setup mode. The new Matter device can usually be put into setup mode by plugging it into wall socket. Our matter device is already in setup mode. If you see the orange box that is turned on, it indicates the device is already ready for setup. The set of color boxes on our matter device indicates different stages of the setup process. What happens behind the scene is after plugging in the device, it will start broadcasting device setup information via Bluetooth. The information it broadcasts contains identifier of the vendor, product, and this matter device. For each matter device, it comes with a QR code or manual setup code. Besides the information the matter device will broadcast, it also contains a passcode. The passcode will be used to establish a secure communication channel between iPhone app and our matter device via Bluetooth. This is extremely important for security as we will need to exchange Wi-Fi credentials, other credentials between our iPhone app and the Matter device. So let's scan the QR code to start the setup process. As you can see here, the LED light on the device changes from orange to blue. It means the device is successfully discovered and a secure communication channel has been established between our iPhone app and the Matter device successfully via Bluetooth. The secure communication channel will be used for communicating information between our iPhone app and the Matter device securely. Once the device is discovered and the secure communication channel is established via Bluetooth, then we need to bring the device into Matter network. Matter protocol is an IP-based protocol, in which case we need to send our Wi-Fi credentials to Matter device so that Matter device will join the local Wi-Fi network. We'll type our SSID and password here. It usually takes some time to bring the Matter device to join the local Wi-Fi network. As you can see here, the light turns from blue to yellow, which indicates the device has successfully set up. And now we will be able to control the device from our phone. There are a couple of things happened behind the scene. First, there is an attestation process where we will confirm the authenticity of the matter device. If it claims to be a Samsung device, we want to verify it is indeed a Samsung device. There are crypto and blockchain technology used behind the scene. With attestation, if a device is what it claims to be, then the attestation will success, otherwise it will fail and ask customer whether they want to continue setting up the device. Then our iPhone app will exchange operational credentials with the Matter device. After the Matter device is connected to local Wi-Fi network, we'll be able to discover the device via DNS ST protocol on local Wi-Fi network. As the operational credentials are exchanged previously, then we will be able to use those credentials to establish a secure channel on local Wi-Fi network to control the matter device. Okay, that's all for today's video. Subscribe to this channel if you want to know more. We'll have other videos to explain further about matter protocols. Stay tuned.